Alrighty, y'all. So, uh, this tutorial is to show how you can uh, fix some uh, ambient occlusion errors in your map. Uh, for instance, like look at around this guy's eyes. It's just a little bit too severe right there. I want to show you how to paint that out. Um, and also the eyes themselves. Like look at how dark they are. You know, I'm feeling that if we if we give our own sort of paint to that, it's going to be a lot more appealing, right? So uh, first steps first, in your texture set settings, you have a bunch of materials, right? So in here, we're going to add a, like you can see all your mesh maps, right? Our idea is that we need to take this ambient occlusion out of there uh, and then plug this into our regular layers and then paint over it, right? And then export it and then plug it back in here to the mesh because uh, some of our generators that we're going to be using are going to be plugging into these darker spots or something or the lighter spots of the ambient occlusion and um, adding some, some nice detail automatically for us. So this, this uh, texture right here needs to be like perfect, right? So um, first step is a ba-boom. We just click it out of there. Boom. I have no ambient occlusion now. Look at that. Right? It's just gone. Um, it's not plugged into like base color at all or anymore. Um, so I do want that in a lot of places, right? But it was just too severe in certain spots. So let's let's uh, fix that, right? So first step is in your channels. Let's add a new channel. We're going to add ambient occlusion. Boop. There you go. And you can see it now if I turn on single channel ambient occlusion. Careful, not the mesh map ambient occlusion because that's no longer plugged into anything. Uh, single channel ambient occlusion, and it's completely blank, right? So what we need to do is add a fill layer. That fill layer, under its properties, I'm going to alt, uh, alt click AO, so it's only ambient occlusion. I'm going to left click drag that map right back onto it, right? Next step is I need another fill layer. So I'm going to add a fill layer, and uh, in this it's also going to be AO. And let's switch our view to AO only so now we can see everything else is like transparent completely on that channel. These ones have some information. Um, and you'll see that its blending mode is set to multiply. So currently, uh, I want you to think of this layer as just every single pixel is one, 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 one. So it's multiplying with the layer underneath, which has you know the gradients. And any number multiplied by itself is that number, right? So like two multiplied by two, that's or sorry, two multiplied by one is two, right? So then if you have like point like some of this gray value would be like 0.5, right? 0.5 multiplied by 1 in all of these pixels, you know, from that fill layer is going to be 0.5, right? It's that, it's that gray color. So um, if this were instead to be 0, right, everything is getting multiplied by 0, right? That's what that multiply in that layer means. So what we need to do is set this to normal. So it's just overriding everything, right? It's overriding everything. Um, and I'm going to right click, add a black mask, and then in that black mask, I'm going to add a paint. So now I can paint uh, on top of this, and let me make sure that my paint settings are correct. I always want to use alignment UV, so that way when I'm painting on something that's underneath, like that eyebrow, it's just completely not going to go on top of that eyebrow, right? If I had it on a uh, wrap as it would see how it's leaking onto that eyebrow we don't want that um, so do UV and I'm gonna do a smaller opacity here smaller opacity and then I'm going to just paint out some of that severity there you know um, now that's leaking into the rest of it right so if you if you don't if you still want some of those like wrinkles in there, like see, see how when I paint on this, it's gonna just whiten that up. You can uh, set your color to something that's a little bit more gray, right? So then it's it's gonna cap out at a certain value. Uh, 
let's turn up the opacity again. So it's going to cap out at a certain value, right? Um, the other method would to be just add a paint layer, right? So this is a regular paint layer. It's not a fill layer. Let's turn off this one. And in here, we could turn on AO and only be painting ambient occlusion. And let's size our brush down a little bit. And then you can do pick to grab a certain color. And then, oh, let's change that layer to normal as well. And here you get complete complete control over like what color uh, something is, right? Oh. So for, oh, did that, why is it not, open? there we go. Um, so see, I were just straight up overriding that. go so now you can press P and grab a value on there there we go and then just paint over that right um, ooh, we also want alignment UV again so every time that you go to one of those layers you want to Grab it. That way you get a nice edge of that eyelid next to the eye. There you go. So that's how you that's how you can paint it, right? But last step last step guys was to reassign that. So let's let's go in. I'm also going to um because I want this to be like the uniform color of that. I'm just gonna go to my fill options and uh, on my on my layer right here in that paint layer uh, we can we can fill we can fill this whole eye there we go um, on a disabled layer oh sorry about that um, so I can just fill that whole eye with a, a like whatever color I want in this it's controlled by that so um so yeah so now that eye is that uniform ambient occlusion right there um and then you can do other paint adjustments on that upper one and now i don't have like a, that severe edge right it's not as as harsh there so uh you can do that throughout the rest of the model and on any any small errors that you find um, the last step is getting that texture back into, like we basically need to plug it back into our ambient occlusion, right? So the last step is once you've fixed like, you know, the eyebrows and stuff and like all this down here, um, we go to file, uh, export textures, and we need an output template that's only going to export our ambient occlusion uh, single channel right it's only gonna export that and so it doesn't matter which one you grab I'm just gonna grab a random one and then I'm gonna right click duplicate and I call this one um, I'm gonna call this one ambient occlusion only just so I know uh, and then in the settings for that I'm gonna start removing these channels I'm gonna add back a gray channel and I'm gonna left click drag this ambient occlusion onto that gray and just call it ambient occlusion. Extracted. Boom, there we go. And uh, so now you can see same color there, some same color there. So it's gonna export that if we're using ambient occlusion only. Uh, and back in our base, output directory uh, just make sure it's plugging into where you want it to uh, this will be fine for me um, and whatever size is correct you could 
just change it to that. Um, make sure that in your output template you use that new ambient occlusion only one, right? There we go. And then we export. Boom. It's going to be thinking for a little bit. Ambient occlusion extracted.png. Very good. Very good. Uh, and then next we need to find that on our computer. So let's go to, um, I believe it's on desktop, course materials, 427, source images, ambient occlusion extracted. So I'm just going to left click, drag that back in and make sure you import it as a texture. Import it to your project so you can have it in this one wherever you take it. And then I'm going to left click, drag that new ambient occlusion extracted into the mesh map. Boom. It's going to be thinking for a little while because it's plugging into all the generators that are using this uh, ambient occlusion map. Um, and then back in layers, we can go to ambient occlusion. We don't need these anymore because boom, it's that, it's that exported ambient occlusion that we've brought back in. Right? So you could do the same thing for normals. Uh, you can do the same thing for uh, curvature, uh, like the same method to fix all that. Uh, if you if you use it for normals, uh, you'll use just like a different blending layer because like any normal information in your stack is gonna uh, plug into normal map. Uh, I believe it's like detail is the default. Um, so you just do the same thing though. Any any override layer, you just switch it to uh, normal. Um, and it, it put it on top of it and you can paint on that layer. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, fixing your ambient occlusion bakes in Substance Painter. Thanks for watching.